strip sets in three words, what would they be? Oh my god. Sexy, queer, um, explosion. Yeah! And you? I think queerness for me is something that doesn't feel as, it doesn't, it feels part of me but it doesn't feel like a huge part of my identity. And I know that's quite a privileged position to be in. My queerness is between me and that person. I think the emphasis was, apart to escape the fucking shit that everybody was having to deal with and the fact that everybody's friends were dying, this was the response. Yeah. <laughs> Paul um, has been DJing since like the 80s. He's incredible and he's taught us so much and I remember that night he showed us Kinky Galenki which was a big party um, years and years ago in London. Kinky Glinky has been a real kind of like, um, a way into, I suppose, a past of queer culture. Culture? Culture. I'm gonna have a little drink. <laughs> Seeing how amazing those nights used to be is like well if it can like it can be that good then it can like you want to draw inspiration from that and kind of remember those nights and honor those nights in the nights that we have now these gorgeous queer people just looking amazing like no clothes loads of clothes like so gorgeous it was such a nice representation of queerness and there was so much like fashion and like performance and diversity um, in quite a difficult time for the queer community, obviously. And I think after watching that, Alina and I were like, oh, that's why we're doing it. Lovely hearts on that side. Do you want the red tape? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the gas tape. This can. Yeah. I like the streamers. Do you want to communicate with me? Really? Yeah, I don't want to be photographed in that. Really? At all? No. Perfect. Yeah. Good. The money shot. Yeah. Yes. The money, yes. baby. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. Shoots are very much for people like creatives um, who either want more experience or have never done anything like that or want to work with other creatives in a very casual, chilled setting. You know, if they've just done photography once or something or they've directed a shoot once or styled once, you know, they can just come and it's so only like five people, maybe. Um, and we all just work together to do super DIY shoots, which are all gorgeous. I think being the photographer was, was great and I really enjoyed it. There was a lot to gain from letting other people kind of step in and do that and letting other creatives work because it adds so much dimension. Thank you all for coming to uh, the shoot for Pillow Princess number five. <laughs> is we're going to go around and um, everyone say their name and their pronouns. I'll start, I'm Priya, she, they. It was just a really nice atmosphere and I felt like there was a big emphasis on everyone feeling comfortable in the room and everything running smoothly and like how each person wanted. I remember my sister dressing me up in a dress of my mum's and she took me down the street, literally just down the street where I lived and then back. And I felt fabulous and I remember, you know, clocking other people's response to it. And it felt different. It just felt weird because of how they were looking at me. Pillow Princess, why it works so well is because it's intentional in what it wants to do and it, that intention, I think, attracts a certain person. 
and that is what's needed. I've always loved music anyways, so I think that it just makes, it, yeah, it makes a lot of sense for me to love DJing. Seeing people feel good in a space is inspiring for me. It's a really amazing position to be in, to be able to watch people like enjoy themselves because of something that you're playing. It's really, and I find it really fun and interesting to kind of see what different crowds like. I've played to like pretty empty rooms and that I don't really feel that good after. And it's, it's just really hard to play a set when people aren't there to kind of guide me. The strip sets gigs are really fun and super accepting. And I think because of the feeling in the room already, which is quite supportive and loving, the DJs will receive that same love and support that that we kind of try to give to people that come, you know. Yeah, we're, we're inviting all these queer people and women and PCs and everyone to come in and we're like, arms open, come guys, like this is, this is a nice place for you guys. Um, and I feel like if people feel that, they're gonna wanna give it back. Our events do create a space in which far more safety than a regular club night. You know, it's for queer people. We've spent months and months creating relationships with the venues and security staff to ensure, to the again, to the best of our ability, that we're all on the same page and we're all doing the right things. And, you know, and I can't tell you how many meetings we've had and briefs we've had. And we have briefs before every Pillow Princess with all the team. Um, everyone that's like kind of working that area of the venue and we have a brief and we go through everything um, and it's but it's, it's difficult to say because yeah again we can't control anyone really even if it's people that are there for the event that are queer that are kind of you know love you can't control what they're going to do I think we just do the best that we can. Alina and I always we kind of have a bit of a routine before Pillow princess where we just kind of either get to get, get ready together or separately but then we always walk to the event together um, and just kind of chill normally there's a panic attack along the way but that's fine I just I like particularly get quite panicky just I think just, it's just because there's like a waiting period between when we get there and when doors are if there's enough time to kind of overthink but it's always fine Nights like Pillow Princess is one of the very few spaces that they can express themselves and feel comfortable or maybe meet people, feel supported enough to perform. So it's just so important for, for the queer community really to, to feel seen and also just to have fun. You know, like it's such, it's like a, it's a bare minimum, really. People, like, people should be able to go out and just have fun with their friends. I find it quite inspiring to be around um, other queer people and, and women and POCs and, and trans people. I think it's just, it's just such, a, such a gorgeous experience to walk, walk into a room and not be a minority, really. Pillow Princess means a lot to me at the moment, and I'm sure it will continue to do so.